first game, there will be a minimum of 10 minutes between rounds. I'll announce the next round time uh, as soon as this round is over. Good luck, gentlemen. Please go ahead and start White's clock. And they are off as this tie breaks underway. We've just had the marks of Queensberry's rules explained to us. And quickly, D4. No knight C3. Queen's Gambit declined. Are we going to see bishop E7, bishop F4? Or are we going to see bishop B4? Or D5 takes C4, possibly. Small hesitation on Ding Lorenz's part already. He could not have been fully surprised to see this come on the board. Not at all. But he is just taking his time to decide exactly which variation he wants to play. As he knows, Magnus is well prepared pretty much for everything. And uh, a bit of time seems... A little extra time, and now C6. I was about to say, in, 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 at the end of uh, my professional career, C7, C6 was the move that everybody liked to play, the Bodvinic pawn sacrifice that results from Bishop G5, takes on C4 and E4. Looks like a slight surprise to Magnus to see it. And now G3. G3. Whoa. Okay, that is quite the surprise, I must say. Why is that such a surprise to you, Yaz? Because it's, um, it's the, is it the C4 pawn that pops yeah, out of you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Precisely. Uh, uh, how I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not that easy now after D5. Well, he's going for it with knight E5. I was about to say, it's not super easy to win back that pawn on C4. Because you don't want to play E3 or E4 because you're planning on putting your bishop on G2 now. Precisely. But okay, knight E5, are you just going to defend it with B5? Indeed, that's uh, that's the main variation is B5, bishop G2, uh, and knight E5 is one of, you know, really, really complex line that black could undertake. Now, if black wants, he could also just uh, allow white to recover the pawn with a move like knight d7, forcing knight takes c4. White is using, spending a lot of time, of course, and he played knight bd7. He did play knight b8 d7. All right, so I know you're shedding a tear, yes, and you exactly. wanted to keep that pawn. I but, sure did. But okay, after knight takes c4, it seems like you're so surprised by white's treatment. Is there anything, like, lesser than this advantage than normal? I mean, white still has a good opening position, no? Oh, yes. I mean, look oh, at that yeah. bishop on c8, that, that right. wall and, uh, and let's just say, for example, b5. Played. Mm -hmm. Now, where are you going to move your knight? You go back to e5. That could be a trade of knights, a okay. trade of queens. Yes. This is a solid treatment. So right? knight, knight, d2, knight d2. For example, you could have a situation like this where basically black aspires to play the move c6, c5. If he does get in c6, c5, and probably I made a mistake. I apologize. I'll just put queen b6 on the board. If black ever manages to get c5, you can imagine how easily he might be able to make an equal knight quality. Knight back to e5. Trade, mass trades happening very quickly. We see the knight takes, pawn takes, and now king takes on d1. Castles <laughs> gift, gifts me a mate. He did not really. Um, doesn't have a great life. Imagine I play something really. Uh, silly. Takes, takes. And I just want to put a silly situation on the board. F3. This bishop, okay, if you had kept it on c8, it would be stuck behind an e6 pawn, right? If you put it on bishop b7, and then you play a move like c6, c5, you want to give your bishop life, you'll be hitting a brick wall on e4 and f3. So white was going to go king c2, a4. And it's going to make it very mm -hmm. difficult for black's bishop to ever come to life. Now, but not... neither of those moves were, were Magnus's choice. In fact, okay. he played knight to e4, but really fascinating structural lesson you gave us there, yes. Yeah. Fighting on granite. They... Four taking on c5, I mean, with that knight was hanging. And he's played c5 immediately. He's understanding what this position is about. And his bishop is no longer a bad piece. He always has tactics on the long diagonal. Bishop d2. Lines. With so knight c5, bishop g2, knight e6, king b8. Um, you or, also have knight c4. And he played passively instead. By the way, that line is rapid in blitz. Uh, he didn't do well in the rapid in blitz. He was not comfortable. It's only two moves. Work c8. 
My guess as well. I'd be solid. Woo! And we're both wrong. Right. I'm going to go with C4. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what? Just took me a, time, a moment to uh, analyze the ramifications of D3. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was playing solidly to this point, so I was trying to guess from the nature of his play. This one a little bit more loose as B3 had to be calculated. Exactly. But he seems comfortable with this particular move. And now the king quickly trying mm -hmm. to hop to that B1 square. He did play king C2. King C2, yes, yes played. Yes, no B2, B3, because there was a, um, a, a chance that after B2, B3, he could have uh, just... Uh, knight That's B4, irritating, sure. right? Yeah, if you get the D3 square for your knight... Then, yeah, then, so then Bishop F3, happy. and I'm definitely... Then you're... No, you're just... You're just well, B5 crushing. is hanging in the end, right? But it's just not... Oh! Queenside Castle, Castle please. now, finally. Uh-oh. My, uh... My... My board, uh... Nope, you got it. They got the position here. Okay. He so, castled. That's uh. <laughs> well, why do I have to play? For you don't a have five? to play it right right away. Why don't I just uh, bring my rooks to the open D file and eyeball um, bishop on D two? So all the moves, by the way, we were talking about the king fixing itself, the rooks coming to the open files. Rook D one played uh, instead of B one. Have played. Have been played. This is what we were talking about. Castles, you need it. He Rook needed to fix his position in Magnus, and he needed to play all these moves. Right. Nope. So the king up, the rook up. Ding Loren will be play rook d7 and double as well. Yeah. So bishop g5 is never too good because you do have f6. Well, a moment ago you were going to play f6. Ooh, so f5 have... now on the board. Now f5 Whoa. played. You know, he's okay, changed. I'm very, I, it's, he's it's just, very hard guessing where he's going because he mixes solidity, the ideas, right? solidity with, with dynamism. So exactly. But right now, his last few moves have been dynamic. He started off very trying to decide now as he realizes he has to get in the defensive mindset. But let, let, let's say he's... He's not. Whoa! He says, forget defensive yeah, mindset. Use the other, other pawn <laughs> so I'm sacrifice a pawn and keep it going. Yeah, well... Knight d6 check, bishop takes d6, e... Five takes d6 all on the board. We're anticipating take the pawn. So similar to the other pawn sacrifice, he's anticipating sometimes there's going to be this bishops of opposite color endgame right. where he can hold on. And indeed, he goes for that right away. So for some reason, he, he liked this move order better than the knight g5 idea. Bishop takes d5 right now. Six takes d5 followed by d5 d4. Oh, that's just money. like a bang. huge. And he's done it. And here it is. He is wow, huge he has majority. done it. A nice recapture with the pawn to bring. And d4 Bishop was a huge C4. threat. We saw it all. So Bishop c3, two. rook e3 on the board. Rook e8, yeah. Pardon me, rook e8, e2, e3. And now this move g5. Oh. And I love this opportunity from Black's point of view of being able to play for rook. Now, as g5 is on the board, Ding Loren playing, playing lost chess right now. He's playing, he's playing wonderfully well. Really, really. And Magnus is in trouble. Impressive. impressive Magnus can't even play. find a target. That D pawn, well defended by the bishop for the moment. Rook D4. Agreed. In, in order to meet Rook H6 with H4. I've got one trap in the position, and uh, I seem to recall a, a, a game from my junior days. Uh, we talked about that dark square blockade. He will be close to Rook E4 to played Rook instead. E4. Rook E4. Okay. And That's his main point is to play for that rook h6 idea as well, trading off a pair of rooks. That Here, I just the bishops of opposite color, I think, yes. is, is making a very... Uh, mm, a bishop I c6. Think. Yeah, I'm betting on draw too, but it still is. Ding Loren trying he is to set up rook some h6, tricks so and traps. They are going down our, uh, their, our line. Uh, I didn't really see alternatives, though. For Magnus, I don't. H1, rook h6, not bishop c6, rook h6. I don't want to allow rook h3. So I have to play h4. I have no choice. Bad position. And here comes the king. h4, king d7 on the board. I'm feeling good. a3 by Magnus. Oh, a3 by Magnus? He's preparing the long scale blockade. For sure. A3. Wow, I find that move intriguing. I, I really, you know, I would be a little bit anxious 
to put my king on E5 or D4. And, Maybe he was afraid you know, of those lines with B4, A4, some breakthrough trick sometimes, I wonder, about when your king was on D4. No, G4 on the board, G4, okay, the entire that side down. That locked. shuts down the game. That's a draw offer right there. Mm -hmm. That is a draw offer. I don't think that uh, 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 is anything now because the dark square blockade is just too formidable. Rook takes e4 finally by Magnus. And I'm sure Magnus saw that move g4. He just probably went, that's <laughs> okay, believe, yeah. that's, that's uh, losing with white. I don't care if you are Mr. Perfect, 100%. Losing with white in a two-game match to start. The Took game. the rook with the f-pawn. With the f-pawn, okay. Yeah, this position shut down. I wonder who will consider this a success. As Ding Loren, no doubt, came into this position thinking, Came into the game thinking a draw is fine. I'll take Perfect. white next game. Magnus got nothing with the white pieces. And Ding Loren, if his attitude is, well, I had a whisper of a chance, but it didn't work out. So what? But now I get white. And Magnus will be under pressure. Will Magnus say, yeah, I could have been in trouble there. And so I got out of it. Or will he think, man, I just tossed a white <laughs> game completely away and got zero for it. I think that... Uh Ding is the one who's going to be the most pleased because I'll remind everybody that in the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz, these players had three decisive games. Three decisive games. White won every game. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so Ding Lerin will be thinking, I'd like the white pieces uh, you, for the Sinkfail Cup. What do you think about this last move by Magnus? B4. B4. Blockade. Stopping any A5. He has introduced a second potential weakness, but he probably can defend them both. The, the pawn on A3 is now weak, and also the pawn on F2 is weak. But he's going to go rook d1, rook d2. As Jennifer mentioned, you can't play rook f6. So it's going to take you a while to play rook f5. Say you start with rook h5. Well, now I'm in time. Rook d1, rook f5, rook d2. And there's no, you're not breaking through on the king side. Rook a6 was Ding Loran's choice. And after rook a6, I've got uh, king b2. Um, just keeping the A pawn defended. King B2, H5. And then Rook D1, and then we can just agree to draw. And we expect to draw very shortly. Remember, unlike in the classical portion, you can offer draw. You don't have to repeat moves. And I I, I heard Chris Berg may mention the same thing. The draw offers are permitted in Blitz and Rapid, unlike the classical, where no draw offers were allowed. Yeah, and here, but, you know, I think they're kind of in the habit of just doing the repeat right. method. Exactly. And it looks like the, well, this is exactly what's happening as the first game of the Rapid playoff is drawn. Now, some may say that that's a big success for Ding Loran as he had Magnus in a great position for, for Ding Loren. And now he gets the white pieces. But keep in mind that Magnus' last victory in the classical event and his best win in the single...